Hi there, I'm John Muir Laws. I'm a scientist, an artist, and an explorer. And I want to share with you what gets me really excited about this painting by Tony Foster. For me, it's just fun. It's a celebration. You cannot help but smile looking at this painting. So here's, here's what I kind of get from it. Um, wow. <laughs> so that's spectacular. And the cool thing is, yeah, it really looks like that. So fall um, in these hardwood forests is spectacular and crazy. And my scientist brain just starts going, and you, what you've got is, so you see greens, you see yellows, oranges, there are reds, all this, this smorgasbord of colors. So what's going on is the leaves have this green chlorophyll pigment in them. But as winter is approaching, that chlorophyll is breaking down, and it reveals the yellow color that is hiding underneath the green. So if you look at this, this these, these bright oranges, yellows in here, that's anthocyanin color. And it's been there all along in the green leaf. And then as the green breaks down, it's revealing da, 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 the color that was there all along. And so that's happening in the forest. So you're looking through some things haven't turned yet. Other things are just popping right now. Then there are also reds. The reds are really interesting. It's a different thing that's going on with this orange, green, yellow business. With the reds, what's happening in the forest is the tree wants to get all the nutrients back into the leaf before it drops the leaf. But as you're bringing your chlorophyll, as your chlorophyll is breaking down, the tree can now, the leaf can get damaged by the rays of the sun. So essentially the leaf can get sunburned when it doesn't have its chlorophyll sunscreen. And that can cause the leaf to prematurely drop before the trees sucked all the nutrients back out of that leaf. So it puts out this anthocyanin sunscreen, and that's this red. So you're seeing anthocyanin, the reds, and then the, um, the yellows, again, are this carotenoid pigment under. So there's, there's a different thing that's going on there, but it's all happening here at the same time. So the forest is just fireworks of color. And crazy to draw. And then you draw this on a big scale. Think about how much, like, it's going to take commitment to do 10 leaves. But now you're going to do this, this painting. You're going to be there. You've got to love this place. In addition to that, Tony Foster has picked a location that is just this, it's a playground. The child in me wants to come out here, wade across this, and go climb up into this swamp maple that's out here. Look at this, these green moss ribbons covering the roots here. And then you look in here, you want to just kind of get in here and explore. You know, you'd say like, oh, if I would, I, would climb, I would climb up this way, then I'd kind of get up into this. I'd want to come in here, look at that. So I just get this sense of just the joy and the playfulness of being in the woods and then finding a discovery like this, this ancient, ancient swamp maple in here. Um, that, for the, 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 the kidness, that's where we want to play. This whole thing is just a celebration of how amazing it is to be alive on this spectacular planet. We have the colors. We have here this homage to the, the science behind the color change. And you've got sort of the story of all these different pigments in here, the green changing into the, the, the yellows and oranges, the anthocyanins right over here. Mm. So as, as a scientist, as somebody who likes to wade across creeks and climb in trees, and as an artist, <clears throat> I've got mad respect for this painting. My personal favorite part of it is this strip on the bottom. I could sit here and I can look at each one of these leaves. Each one of these is an individual, carefully drawn leaf. Where it's turning color is significant. It's important. And it's just painstakingly observed 
with love and deep respect for that. And then again, the, 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 the playful child in me is up here in the forest running around and exploring this environment. Just again, reminds us of how good it is to be alive. And thank you, Tony Foster. <laughs>